Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy, UC704, bringing you guys some freelance offense, running the triangle set, doing the pick and slip. Very effective offense. To me, the best freelance offense in the game. How do you actually get to that? Is you hit the D-pad to the left on any console. Once you get to the left, you scroll with R1 or RB, and you select triangle offense. Once you select triangle offense, they will set up accordingly. As you can see, Rondo, Jeff Green, and... Kelly Olenek is on the left side, I mean the right side of the court, isolating you and Jared Sullinger. Now, this works wonders when you want to run a two-man game, especially with the guys like the Boston Celtics. All their wings can attack the basket. All their wings can attack the basket. So, right here, I got Marcus Smart in. Good guy to attack the basket with. And what I'm going to do is run a pick and slip. So, once my big comes up, you know, you can actually cancel the pick by tapping B again. So, I'm going to make him dive. And once he come up, I tap B one more time. And as you can see... It gets your big man right to the basket, and that would have been a foul in game, and I still scored. So it really don't matter. So right here, how to do the pick and slip, man. It is an effective thing to do in the triangle offense due to the fact that the court is isolated between you, the ball handler, and the screener. The other three guys are set up in a triangle. You can run so many things out of this set. So right here, he comes up like he's going to set the pick, and this will catch guys playing off-ball defense on their center off guard. This will catch them off guard due to the fact that they will get caught sleeping, waiting for the pick, and they will be waiting to hedge the screen. Little do they know, once your big comes to set the screen, you tap B again. Once you press B for the pick and roll, the roll symbol will pop up on the guy's head. Once he get close to you, you tap B again. And once you um, do that, he spurts back to the basket. I, I score at least six to eight points a quarter doing this. When my jump shot stopped falling, I go ham doing this right here, man. And you can see I got a nice, nice finish. That would have been a hard foul in the game. And I still end up getting the ball. Jeff Green scored. Now, this is very effective, people. Very effective. Very effective. I played through the triangle throughout the whole game. and run the pick and slip and the give and go. And um, I, I, I don't really run plays. I run plays, but um, this triangle freelance offense is great. So let's go and let these guys score, man. We're not about that life right now. We're not about that life. So here we go again. Um, what are we going to do again? Now, it's switch size. It varies from switch size, man. So it can easily be sometimes... Okay, let's go and let him set that pick. Now, you can see it's setting up again. Now, this time it's Jeff Green's turn because it swaps size anytime you move. It swaps size anytime you move. Now, I got Marcus Smart back this side. You see, the, it's, it's steady. It's corresponding. It's constantly moving if you move to a certain spot of the court. So, right here, man, you can set the guy up again. And you can even run the pick and roll out of this, man. So, once he come and set that pick, you tap B again. As you can see, he gets right back to the basket again. And I do this throughout the game and catch people off guard. This triangle offense pick and slip is nasty because I, I like to, for one, you want to have a lot of space behind the three-point line. You don't want to be cluttered to the three-point line because if you come set the pick, a lot of, you know, help D can come in. The farther you're away, the farther you can get slow Perkins out on the wing. Now, if I put Gerald Wallace in this spot, it will work even better because he's quicker. Now, as you can see, he doesn't even set the screen. He act like it. He rolls right back to the basket, catch a slow Kendrick Perkins off guard, and you get an easy dunk pretty much every time when you have an athletic four. And this is not even an athletic four with Jerry Sullinger. Like I say, you want to be kind of have some distance between you and the three-point line. You don't want to be jammed up on it because sometimes it doesn't work right and you get the spacing and the pass can get better easier. Right here, you just bring the center further out and it throws him off. So, Easy two points. Now we're going to put Gerald Green or um, Jeff Green at power forward. You can really run it with an athletic center, man. It works really good. It works really, really good. So, And especially if you have a, a, a guard that can finish because if a guy plays that, that uh, slip, you can actually take off to the basket. So right now we have Rondo and Kelly Olenek. So now he rolls. Okay, now when he comes back, I'm going to call for the screen again. And he slips again. Wide open, right up under the basket. It's, I'm telling you guys, the user will have to come over and help. Once the user comes over and help, that's when you kick it out. So if, if I could bring his guy off, Gerald Green, Gerald, um, Jeff Green will be wide open for a mid-range jump shot. Kendra Perkins can keep caught off guard. And you get dunks, man. I'm telling you, this is how it works in game. I do this to catch guys off guard. And I do it a few. I don't do it so much so they can catch on to it really easy. I bring it back every now and then because it's it's really tough. When you're running a triangle, it's really tough to see what someone's running because I can easily do that give and go video, which I'm going to put in the description to show you guys how to do the give and go. All right. So um, this time, you can tell which side is which. And you see you cut him. That would have been an easy pass right there. He comes back up. And that was my fault. See, if you don't wait, see, if you're too close to the three-point line, you see what happens. That's what happens. Um, it get cluttered and you can throw the ball away easy. I wanted to at least throw it away once so you guys can see. You don't want to get predictable with it. You really want to keep the call. Um, here we go. Jeff Green 
And you see Jeff Green cuts really fast because he's a faster player. Faster players get to the basket entirely faster than bigs, and they throw the big man off. So right here, Jeff Green comes up. Boom, he takes right off soon. As they're ready to hedge. A guy like Marcus Smart, you kind of have to hedge off the screens. So it catches Ibaka off guard and coming to hedge. Bam, wide open dunk. If someone comes over to help, then you kick it out. And pretty much the triangle opens the floor. If you keep passing, people will keep moving. That's my time, man. Pick and slip. I told you guys how to run it, man. Go and practice. Go in games. Dominate with it. I'm telling you, you will get a lot of um, easy buckets. And also, I'm going to do the give and go with it as well. I'm going to put that in the description too. I'm out, people. Peace. The give and go, as you can see. Now, I'm really out now. That was a give and go with it. I told you you could do multiple things, man. I'm out now. I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. I just had to do give and go to show you I mix and match it, mix and match it throughout the game, man. I'm really going this time, people. I'm out, man. Peace. Thanks Thanks for watching. I'm out. Oh, yeah. Defense video coming up next. Defense will be next, man. I'm really out now. I'm out, man. Peace.